For countries all around the world, startups have evolved into a catalyst for economic recovery, reorientation, and growth driven, driven by innovation. The first formal engagement group of its sort, that's Startup 20, was established under India's G20 presidency. Now, 20 or more startups were featured by the FMCBG meeting in Gandhinagar, and Stempedia is one such cutting edge startup that enables kids to employ electronic, robotic, Internet of Things, interactive games, animations, and other technologies to give their imagination limitless flight. So Stempedia is an intelligently designed combination of technology and learning tools. Uh, with the help of the CEO and co-founder Dhupal Shah, uh, DD India correspondent Ajay Sharma, I beg your pardon, Ajay Mishra, uh, he attempted to delve deeply into the world of Stempedia. Let's take a look. The Indian edutech sector is uh, growing very fast and uh, started, there are many startups uh, in the edutech sector which are going, going global. Uh, we have with us uh, such a startup uh, here in uh, Gandhinagar, uh, Stempedia, uh, the co-founder and uh, CEO Drupal Shah. Uh, thanks very much Drupal. Uh, science, technology, engineering and mathematics is the new buzzword that uh, we are uh, you know, listening in here in India. And you've also uh, you know, designed this very uh, special uh, the curriculum for interactive coding, AI and robotics for just class three, class third students. Just tell us uh, what's your focus and how are you uh, going forward? Yeah. So Stempedia's focus is always on how we can create innovators, how we can uh, grow the students to become as an innovator and how they can learn the newest technologies right from artificial intelligence, machine learning, <laughs> robotics, and they can learn and make things mm -hmm. that is our core focus mm. uh, uh, i believe that uh, these products uh, are uh, make in india products and uh, yes. uh, we have also learned that you have gone uh, global there are many countries that you are operating can you just uh, you know share some of the insights yeah so i will start with pictoblox which has right now more than 125000 monthly active users mm -hmm. and that is spread it across different geographies out of that only 35% is in india about 18% is in Turkey, about 13% in Brazil, and that's how uh, about remaining 40% are spread across different nations. If we say about kids, we have some, so somewhere around 27, 28,000 kids so mm -hmm. far. And out of that also 40% of kids are exported uh, in different countries like Singapore, Dubai, Malaysia, Brazil, then Colombia, in US, Russia, different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. In African countries also, we are getting now good reach. Oh, perfect. So how is the response there? How do they see uh, the hardware and, and the skilling part coming from India? And as a in startup from India, uh, what is their thinking about uh, the uh, startup ecosystem out here? Yeah. So there is one thing now, right? In the global world, if you create something good, it will be appreciated mm -hmm. across all, right? It's not just like technologies from US or right. Europe or something coming out. It has to be a solution, yeah. Yeah, if it is solving your need, if it is an appropriate budget, right? And if it serves the exact purpose, what mm -hmm. you mentioned, mm -hmm. yeah, you are going to rock. That's what we are doing. And we are gradually getting a lot of interest from international countries, including India. Right. Drupal, uh, just about some numbers, how much uh, production capacity do you have uh, in terms of profits? Where are you currently heading? And, you know, uh, what are the financial positions? How do you see the future going forward? Yeah. So, so far we are uh, working on cash flow positive. We have reached to more than 10 lakh kids till now across all of our platform, either digitally or uh, physically in all of our programs. We have more than 2000 schools mm -hmm. in our network. We work with more than 15,000 teachers and we train them. Uh, our success story is all driven through teachers. Mm -hmm. We focus on skilling the teachers. Drupal, uh, uh, where do you see uh, your vision going forward from uh, here on? And uh, uh, if, if I can, uh, I've also learned that uh, you are doing some global competition also as well as the coding is concerned. Yeah. So uh, we are very much focused on the first question you mentioned. Let's make them innovators. Let's make them creators, right? And how we can do it. So for that, we do our coding competition called as Codever. And that helps students to use this kind of technologies or whatever technologies mm -hmm. are, is available around them. Mm -hmm. They can participate and they can showcase. 
and we see more than students from more than 70 countries participated in our last year competition with more than 1 lakh 14 thousand registrations on our platform that is huge uh, so our focus stays very uh, much like let's help the kids to nurture uh, help the kids to focus on learning new age technologies in whichever field like right now our team is working on creating products of ar vr and 3d mm -hmm. how they can learn how they can very easily make and use in the classroom or whatever new technologies will come in we will create products for kids but at the end let th help them to become innovators and creators our objective would be our mission is let's help them and nurture more than 10 crore innovators across the world thank you drupal uh, that's that's a quite a vision uh, if you if you if you describe as it is thank you thanks very much for speaking to us so indian startups are uh, going global and they are uh, they are making their mark uh, visible on the global uh, arena as far as this uh, edutech uh, startup is concerned uh, with camera person Bheem singh ajay mishra dd india gandhi nagar thanks very much for watching namaskar